Well, I'm back in the bathroom again. Uh, this lesson is brought to you by the letter G, as in G chord. All right, just a quick review. What did we learn the other day? We learned about notes. We learned about chords, D chord, C chord. chord, C chord, right? What I'm going to show you now is the G chord, which makes our trio of chords that we're going to start with for our first song. So the G chord is, same thing, three fingers, one, two, and three. And you can see here that we're working with the second fret and the third fret. So, if you want to make a G chord, which you do, because it's probably one of the most popular chords going, you take your first finger, this guy, put him fifth string from the bottom, second fret, take this finger here, number two, put him sixth string from the bottom, third fret, and take this finger here, number three, and put it on the third fret on the first string. Okay, so that makes three fingers. And the G chord sounds like this. All right, so now what we got is we got D, C, G, you guys seen me do something there a minute ago, which isn't what I've been showing you, but I'm going to show you that in a little while. Anyway, D, that's a full D chord. It's a full G, uh, C chord. And your D chord, or sorry, your G chord is number one finger, second fret, fifth string, number two finger, third fret, sixth string, and number three finger, uh, third fret, first string. And I'll give you a little introduction to the first song we're going to be doing. That combination is used over and over and over again in all kinds of different songs. Uh, Sweet Home Alabama, Summertime by Kid Rock, Werewolves of London by War on Zevon. And then if you do the reverse thing, you've got, uh, let's see. picture. Next lesson what we're going to talk about is uh, guitars and things like that. Talk to you later. Bye.